What if we kissed at table four of Gym Leader Challenge League Night at Full Grip Games every Thursday at 7 p.m.? This past week, I attended Gym Leader Challenge League Night at Full Grip Games, the birthplace of GLC. That's right, just over two years ago, Andrew Mahone gave birth to a beautiful baby Pokemon card format, and he decided to call it Gym Leader Challenge. Now, if you don't know what Gym Leader Challenge is, it's basically Magic the Gathering's Commander format, but with Pokemon cards. And if you don't know what Commander format is, then it's basically Gym Leader Challenge, but with Magic cards. So there I was at Gym Leader Challenge League Night. We are in the middle of a year-long competition to see who will come out on top as the gym leader of the year, the champion, I guess. You play with a certain type. If you win with that type, you get a badge. First person to get all their badges or at the end of the year, whoever has the most badges will get a custom trophy and a booster box. There are three players tied for first place with five badges apiece. Alex Carpenter. Andrew Mahone and me, Benjamin Morse. Now my round one opponent was this handsome devil, Hunter Horak, currently sitting at two badges on the leaderboard. Hunter is a great player, so I was already stressing going into this first match. Tonight, Hunter was playing a colorless deck. I had a decent start setting up Grookey, Rosalia, and Zarude. I also have Grottle in play, but I unfortunately prized uh, Torterra, which is basically my best attacker in the deck. When he plays Escape Rope, I end up sacrificing the Grottle because I wouldn't be able to evolve it anyways, and I need Rillaboom and I need Roserade if I'm really going to do anything in this game. I power up Zerud and take a knockout after he knocks out my Grottle. Then Hunter knocks out my Zerud with Snorlax, which is a huge beefy tank of a Pokemon. I am forced to put five energies on to my Genesect to respond with no backup attackers set up. The following turn he gusts up my Rillaboom and knocks it out which means I won't be able to power up another attacker after Genesect at all. Uh, great play by Hunter. I attack again with Genesect but at this point I have a terrible hand and I can't really do much. He knocks out my Genesect, and from there I basically fold. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. So unfortunately, I go down 0-1 to start the night out of five rounds. Round two, I go up against Alec Rainer, and he's also playing Dark, which I consider a pretty strong matchup for Grass, and he proceeds to take six prizes without me ever responding. So at this point, I'm 0-2, and I'm basically out of the running to get a badge tonight. Two losses. Two you? losses. Going into round three, Alex and Andrew actually got paired up. They were both 2-0. Whoever wins this match is in a great position to pull ahead in the badge race. All right, who am I here with? Right. Alex Carpenter. And uh, how many badges do you have? Five. And uh, who am I here with? Andrew Mahone. How many badges do you have? I also have five. Okay, what type are you playing? I'm playing metal. Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Not very helpful? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your game plan? Uh, Hobie Bricks. <laughs> What's your game plan? I'm gonna get out Zamazenta, who resists metal and also has ability. It makes it take 30 less damage, and I'm gonna put some tools on it, make it really big. Do you think this is a free matchup? Uh, nothing's free when you're playing against Alex. That's so facts. Got any spice in the deck today? Not really. <laughs> All right. Well, that's your downfall. All right. Good luck. Thank you. I caught the end of their match in round three. You can see Alex has three prizes remaining. Right here, Andrew takes a KO with his Zamazenta to go down to only one prize remaining. Andrew is in a great position. He also has a Celesteela fully powered up with five energies on it so he can respond to whatever Alex promotes. Alex is forced to gust up Andrew's Bronzong and try and stall, but Andrew has Guzma in his hand, brings up the Celesteela, takes the final knockout, and announces... Moonraker! Still an atrocious <laughs> card. Still a bad card. <laughs> With Andrew on his way to his sixth badge, I was down at the bottom tables just playing it out, capturing footage, having a good time. I ended up winning my final three rounds, so I finished the night at 3-2, which doesn't get me anything. In round three, I defeated Chase in a grass mirror. Uh, I just got beat uh, in the grass mirror. In round four, I beat my weakness of fire, which Fran was playing. The highlight of that match was her dice tower. 
Round five, I defeated Liz playing a dark deck. Meanwhile, Andrew continued his hot streak and went to 4-0, and here's what he had to say. Played against Ash. Ash was playing Dragon and had a little bit of a slow start back-to-back rounds. I've started Jirachi, prized a bunch of basic search outs, and not been able to find another basic Pokemon on my first turn. So I was a little bit nervous. Ash playing Dragon, so uh, she could have just attached another energy to uh, her Pokemon and just uh, donked me. But uh, thankfully, that did not happen. Uh, Marnie turn one, had a Jirachi pass, but then was able to establish from there, got Heatran out, and Heatran, Heatran took care of business. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately for Ash, uh, she prized Dragonite and Garchomp. And uh, also double Dragon Energy. Yeah, it was just, it was, it was rough. It was rough. So uh, yeah, we cleared that. Now I'm 4-0, and uh, I'm the only 4-0, and five rounder tonight. So, Destiny's in my hands. If I win the final round, I win guaranteed. But if I lose, then it's gonna go up to resistance to see who wins. This means you're taking the lead probably with six badges. How does that feel? Oh, phenomenal. I've really been grinding for this last one. As you know, once you hit five, man, these, uh, these the back, back five is gonna be tough. The final round of the match at table number one was between Andrew and JD. And I caught the end of the game. It was a crazy final few turns. Andrew takes a knockout with his Zamazenta, with no backup attackers, really built up to go down to just one prize remaining. JD, with two prizes remaining, has Zeb Stryka and Flaffy in play, along with Raikou. He uses Sprint to draw on the next four cards. He finds Counter Energy, attaches to Raikou. Dynamotors to Raikou, and then switches in the Raikou to do 120 to the active and 120 to one of Andrew's bench Pokemon. He checks Andrew's discard pile. He ends up deciding to hit the active Zamazenta and the benched Reverum. He couldn't knock out Zamazenta with Raikou. Had he taken a knockout on a benched Pokemon, Zamazenta would have been able to just retaliate for game. So he smartly targets two Pokemon, weakens them, doesn't take a knockout. Zamazenta barely does not do enough damage at 100 damage, would leave Raikou with only 10 HP remaining. Andrew needs to find a way to take a knockout in order to win this turn, otherwise JD can win his following turn by just targeting the same two Pokemon with Raikou. Andrew digs, he has 10 cards left in deck, he draws 7 of them. There's no outs there. He is counting his cards. He's considering what to draw. He has three cards left in deck. He gets a metal energy back into hand. He's considering playing down his parallel. He is only able to draw one card off the Reverum, Room, and that card was the Fighting Fury Belt out of the final three cards, which means he can knock out the Raikou for 110. And Andrew shakes JD's hands. It was an extremely close game, well played. Andrew goes to 5 0. Let's go, that's right. The first to six. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's go. Oh, I, I scuffed it. It's not, it's, it's not perfectly centered. I'm gonna fix that, bro. Oh, and it's, and it's rotated. Rotated. Ah, oh, no, it's what gotta just gotta stay there like, like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's just because it's so high up there, you know, because it was. <laughs> I built a website to track the Full Grip Games League data. You can see the URL here. I'm keeping track of my own matchups as well as overall league standings. Check it out. I had a great time recording the league this week. Full Grip Games GLC Night is the highlight of my week. I think about it basically every day. I think about what I'm going to play. I think about what other people are going to play and how to counter that, how to add techs in. We're trying hard out here. We're trying to win. It is, it's so fun. It's the best. 